One of our little girls, when I first got her, she was only about uh, five at the time. And when I would uh, pick her up to, to hold her on my hip, she would lock her legs. And I just, I knew at, even at five years old, this little girl was abused. The whole vision of Life Impact International is prevent, rescue, heal. Prevent uh, child exploitation in our generation, in these dark nations. Prevent uh, child abuse, child prostitution, child trafficking. And, and we do that by going into these areas, going into the dark areas, going into these pools where the traffickers prey, um, going into these families and finding out, meeting them right where they're at, at their weakest moments, at their most vulnerable moments, and helping them and saying, no, there's an option. You don't have to sell your child. So we go into the Muslim slums, into the garbage dumps, into the poorest of the poor areas, into borders, highways and byways, bridges, wherever we can go and try to reach these children, try to get to these children before the traffickers get there. Another part is rescue. We network with uh, local agencies, local NGOs. We network with the police, the Border Control, uh, World Vision, UN, anybody that's also fighting uh, child trafficking or we partner as a safe home or as a long-term resident care, as a long-term uh, healing home, aftercare home for these different organizations. We are still one of the only uh, Christian safe homes on our border. <laughs> the next part of the vision is heal. And, uh, and heal is a part of long-term aftercare. You know, sometimes the rescue, the prevention part is easy, but when we get, after we get these children, uh, the trauma, the everything that they've went through, we have to work with them now. We were given land in Thailand and in Burma and uh, doing family style homes on these lands where we have uh, 10 children in a house, a set of house parents, a mother and father, so they see a mother that doesn't uh, sell them, that doesn't beat them, that doesn't force them to work. They see a father that doesn't molest them, that doesn't abuse them, that doesn't come home drunk, that doesn't use them on the, uh, put them on the side to beg for money. Uh, they, they see a natural, healthy, loving unit where a mother and father protect children and they feel protected and they feel safe and they have some kind of identity, they have some kind of sense of belonging and they get that healing, that nurturing in that family unit. <laughs> and we've seen so many children just healed, rehabilitated. There's so many faces, so many people say when they come to our safe homes, you can't even tell they look like normal children. You can't even tell that anything has happened to them. And for us, that's a great thing because that we know that the loving power of Jesus Christ is healing their hearts, healing their souls, healing their memories, healing their little minds, healing their little bodies. They're going up whole and healthy and secure. This is what heals about walking with them, seeing the re rehabilitation, seeing the healing power of Jesus Christ being able to heal these children, seeing the smiles on their faces, seeing them be able to trust again. It's like that scripture where even the scent of hell isn't on them. Not a hair on their head is singed. And so to see them walk through that healing process, walk through that rehabilitation process, and see the healing power of Jesus Christ on them is amazing. So my question to you is, what has God placed in your hands? It can be the resource of uh, influence. It could be time. It could be finances. Whatever it be, God has placed something in your hands. God has given a gift to each and every one of us. And it's our job to put it to the table, to bring all of our gifts together and say, together we're going to fight child trafficking. We're going to fight child prostitution. We're going to stop the exploitation of women and children in our generation. We're going to end, end human trafficking in our generation. It's going to take all of us joining together and saying, we're not going to let this happen in our generation anymore. Mm -hmm.